the movie A Bug's Life definitely takes me back to memory lane, hitting that sweet nostalgic spot. This movie is one of the movies that made my childhood. And if you haven't watched this movie yet, then you've missed half of your life. Not even kidding. Now that news of a sequel to the movie spread like wildfire, why did Flick lead a whole rebellion? Before I begin talking about the sequel, for those who have not watched the first movie, A Bug's Life is about Flick, Dave Foley, an ingenious ant who is constantly causing havoc for his colony. His most recent blunder was ruining the food supplies that were meant to be used to repay grasshopper Hopper, Kevin Spacey. The strong-arming bug is now demanding that the ants gather twice as much food or face extinction. You ants have a nice summer. Let's ride! Yeah! <laughs> Flick embarks on a journey to recruit fighters to protect the colony in order to escape calamity. He believes he has found his redemption when he encounters a swarm of high-flying circus insects. A Bug's Life, directed by John Lasseter, is Pixar's second consecutive home run, brimming with so much creativity and passion that the narrative it puts on the silver screen remains finely balanced in the storytelling department and is then taken onto the next level by further refinement and advancement in their state-of-the-art animation. To save their own colony from the greedy hopper, they include all the bugs in their war as their allies. Quite an interesting plot. It really makes you hit that like button if you haven't done so already. <laughs> but the question is whether the ants will triumph. Will Hopper and his crew win this round? This fable contains a broad variety of bugs, and the animators did an excellent job of imagining, designing, and rendering them all. While none of its characters stand out, it's the sum of its pieces that makes it work. The subjects are well addressed, the humor is effective, the score is light yet appropriate, and it never loses its feeling of fun. Overall, A Bug's Life is one of Pixar's most underappreciated films. It may not be as iconic as the studio's best works, but it receives good grades in all parts of filmmaking to make up for a fun and engaging ride that viewers of all ages can benefit from. And it delivers its message of strength and unity with astonishing simplicity and efficiency. Greatest warriors in all quantum. Warrior bugs. My sword. Swish, swish. In many respects, I see it as a reflection of Pixar's own operating model, as it offers an intriguing insight into how these creative brains come together under one roof for the sole purpose of envisioning, creating, and stringently refining stories that are fun and entertaining, but also not devoid of heart, soul, and emotion, with the added incentive of being able to do so without compromising the art or quality of its medium. As good as the movie is for me, there would always be criticism that revolves around the movie. A Bug's Life is praised by critics. The film has a 92% rating on review aggregate Rotten Tomatoes, with 87 reviews and an average rating of 7.9 out of 10. According to the site's trusty critical consensus, quote, A Bug's Life is a joyful adventure that marries animated thrills with funny language and engaging characters, and another smashing early triumph for Pixar. Metacritic, another review aggregator, gave the film a score of 77 out of 100 based on 23 critics, indicating, quote, generally favorable reviews. Bugs Life grossed almost $33.3 million on its debut weekend, placing first. It managed to keep the number one slot for two weeks. Wait, no, 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 I'm desperate! Really? I couldn't tell! A Bugs Life received various accolades and nominations, as they should. The film received the Broadcast Film Critics Association Awards for Best Animated Film, tied with The Prince of Egypt, and Best Family Film, the Satellite Award for Best Animated Film, and Randy Newman's Grammy Award for Best Instrumental Composition. It was also nominated for Best Original Musical or Comedy Score at the Academy Awards, Best Original Score at the Golden Globes, and Best Achievement in Special Visual Effects at the BAFTAs. The American Picture Institute even recognized this film for its top 10 animation films list in 2008. Now, 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 enough talk about the first movie. I've not even begun talking about the sequel, but I'm already excited. A Bug's Life 2, The Return and Revenge of Grasshoppers is an upcoming Disney and Pixar animated sequel film that will pick up where the 1998 film A Bug's Life left off, starring the voice talents of Dave Foley, Phil Davis, Julia Louise Dreyfus, Dennis Leary, Hayden Penetier, now that her character Dot is 17 years old in the film, Jerome Ranft, Bonnie Hunt, 
Richard Kind, Drew Barrymore, Mindy Kaling, Neil Ross, Alec Baldwin, Matthew Lillard, Michael Keaton, Tim Blake Nelson. Woohoo! That was a lot of names. Yo, Paquito! Dos Granitos! Bronco! You gotta try this, man! So far, this is what I know about A Bug's Life 2. Flick and the rest of the insect gang prepare to battle Experian, the dark and pure evil grasshopper commander and Hopper's cousin, who was murdered and eaten by the bird's chicks in the 1998 film. The plot seems quite interesting to me, and really promising for a sequel. Flick and the rest of the ant colony are seen ready to confront the grasshopper. In the previous section, Flick and the rest of the ant colony are seen ready to confront the grasshoppers. In the previous section, Flick killed the grasshopper Hopper, so the prequel must now follow the grasshopper team as they face off against the ants in order to reclaim their pride. The movie will follow the ant gang as they prepare for a fight with them. Flick, who is truly a misfit, is attempting to assemble an army against the grasshoppers in order to hold firm in the next battle. This is an extremely cute watch. You can view the first portion again after the announcement. With a 4.1 out of 5 audience rating, the film captured the hearts of many spectators, particularly children. Ah! Bird, it's a bird! Because the film maintains the original plot and adds a little flavor to it, it is more enjoyable for everyone to watch. As this is an animated Pixar film, I'm sure fans like you are eagerly awaiting the release of the sequel. After so many years of the first part, many people, including me, are curious and unsure about its fresh release. Is there going to be a second part? That's something I'll have to look into for you, so you can just sit back and relax. To be honest, Neither the time nor the date of the film's release have been announced. All I know is that the film's second installment will be released in 2022. But we're still waiting to hear when and where they'll be. The different versions were announced in 2018 during the film's Woodland Quarter. This was also announced on the social media handles. There are no trailers for the second installment that we've seen, but some bits have been uploaded on various pages and sites. The first movie was such a heartwarming flick, pun intended, for me and I have nothing but high expectations for the sequel. For a 1990s animated film, A Bug's Life was undeniably quite good. How much more if a sequel is made for you to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, eh? Overall, the animation was good, and I like the tale of Flick the Ant, who lives in a colony and always screws things up, and all he wants to do is show the colony what he wants to do to assist. Also, since the first movie really did build my childhood and made an impact on it, it would be really nice as well if the sequel would do the same for the younger generation. See you in the next video!